Hi, this is Constance from Mrs T Weddings and today I will be continuing our lockdown live series with the lovely Steph. Really um, excited to introduce you to Steph. She's the first of our wedding caterers to be joining us and her company is called Leave It To Us and Steph is going to be telling us all about catering for weddings which I can imagine can be very very stressful <laughs> as you have a lot of plates to get out. Now I'm just waiting for Steph to join us. We have haven't done a live together before so might have to bear with us while we connect with one another but I am sure that she is going to be joining me shortly and we will be finding out all about what she's been up to during lockdown as well as what she ordinarily does and about some smaller weddings that she's been involved with as well. So there's lots for us to cover off and if you have any questions do pop them into the comments and we will be able to have a chat and um, cover off any questions that you have about wedding cake because it is something that's really stressful it's a huge amount of your budget and you want to make sure you get it right and you want to make sure that the people that you've got are the that have you've got joining um sorry i'm just getting her to join us now there we go people that you've got behind the scenes doing your catering are the right people that you can trust with such an important element of your day so steph will be with us there she is hi <laughs> hello how are you i'm very well thank you how are you yeah i'm good thank you thank you so much for joining us today so pleased to have you right just turn the volume up a little bit can hear you properly right hello um so i was just saying to everyone that catering is such an important part of the wedding it's a huge amount of budget it's a very stressful element and everyone needs to be able to trust who they've got behind the scenes making it all work perfectly so you are here to be that voice of reassurance <laughs> and explain well, how it all works <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally agree. It is a huge part of uh, of, of the couple's budget, and yeah. um, and uh, that's why we, you know, we very much believe in you know try before you buy, so to speak. Yeah. So, you know, coming and having a complimentary tasting and meeting really? me, and um, you know, you've got to you're working with them for a year, two years possibly, yeah. and you've got to build that relationship. Absolutely. So, um, and I, I always kind of think after the wedding ceremony, I mean, the whole part of the wedding is very important, but the food is what everybody remembers. Yeah. You know, we've all been to those weddings. If it was good. Where, if it exactly. Was good. <laughs> we've all been to those weddings where you walk away and go, God, I'm still hungry or I know. that wasn't great. Or, yeah. Definitely um, stopped at a McDonald's on the way back from a wedding exactly, before. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty big part of it. It is, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. So just to give people a bit of an overview, so you run a catering company and pre all of this, did lots of weddings. <laughs> Absolutely. The company um, has been going a long time now, um, just over 50 years. It was started, wow. Yeah, it was started. So tell us a bit about the history then, because that's really impressive. Yeah, well, it was started in the early 70s by my mother, Oh, um, she was cordon bleu trained and once she'd had her three children she <laughs> thought right well I want to put my skills to, to use what can I do yeah so started off a, a small you know catering company in the early 70s you know doing lots of dinner parties and, and things yeah. like that and then the weddings happened and it it grew and I mean, back in those days, they were big weddings. It was not right. unusual to have a wedding of, you know, 250, 300. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's it's proper it. catering. Yeah. And um, I think I always hoped one day I'd come on board with her. Yeah. Um, Did your siblings she... share that sentiment or was it just you? No, I've got two older brothers and no, they sort of went off in their own <laughs> direction. So I think being the youngest and the only daughter, yeah. I think she kind of hoped maybe one day I'd I'd want to. Aww, so from a really, yeah, so from a really early age, probably from three, she'd have wow. me sitting on a stool in the kitchen, you know, watching her and um bit of child labour. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> her. So it all started, yeah, a long, long time ago. And um, and then as I sort of, you know, got, got older and, and was taking much more of an interest yeah. and saying, can I, can I join the company now? She mm. said, well, you can, but you need to start at the bottom and work your way up. 
if Good. you're not just walking straight into the kitchen. Yeah. Um, she made me, yeah, she made me sort of work in every area. You were the so, pot washer to start with then. Absolutely. And waitressing and, you know, front Good. of house. She said, you've got to understand every part you do. of the wedding. Yeah. And um, so that was, uh, that was hard work. As my <laughs> staff can tell you, I am the worst waitress. <laughs> I think they were quite good. Why are you so bad? Are you clumsy? Well, I know. <laughs> my, 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 my guys are brilliant. They, you know, yeah. they clear a whole table in one go. Yeah. Whereas me, I was picking up Do all the stacking up and everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was picking up one plate in one hand and one in the other and walking into the, into the service tent. And yeah. you know, I thought, you know, this is not going well. You were doing dinner party waitressing. <laughs> this is it, yes. So, um, you know, it was great. It was very... You know, I learned a lot from from Yeah, the it's and so now, valuable to understand every single aspect of a business and definitely. how it works together. Definitely. Yeah, and such hard work. Yeah. As, as you know, everybody knows. Yeah. So, um, and then I'd have to sit in, not had to, I wanted to, <laughs> sat in on all her meetings with her, yeah. you know, her bride and grooms, and just sat sat and listened. Yeah. Took it all in and thought, there's no way I can do this. You know. No. I, so I was just in awe of her constantly Aww. because everything just flowed and you know there's nothing she forgot and and I just thought oh, well yeah. hopefully one day I might be able to you know to, to do this as well and then and then obviously yeah. got into got into the kitchen finally <laughs> um and got to start cooking and she taught me absolutely oh. everything from, from wow. being a classical chef yeah. she, she she taught me taught me everything and um it was great, you know. I what a wonderful it. mum! Oh God, absolutely. That that is a that is a mm. pretty spot on mum, isn't it? Yes, ticking yes. all the boxes like the commercial business mum, yeah, cooking absolutely. the whole thing. Oh, love that. Yeah. So so you know, I'd I'd cook something and she'd say, "Brilliant, that's great." Now do it again. <laughs> So it was, it was really, it was really hard. She but, got the whip out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I loved every moment of it. And yeah, uh, good. probably, probably 15 years ago now, I was, yeah. um, I, I was ready to sort of come on board as her, as her sort of, you know, her partner. And yeah. um, so it was, it was great. We, you know, we did, you know, a lot together yeah um, she very sadly um became ill um 2009 oh. um and this was yes the october and she passed away very quickly um I'm sorry the, by the december so so it was kind of you were that was of, it I was kind of, you were the yeah, boss it, it, it was <laughs> but it was kind of i'm not ready for this yeah you, know, you better be ready <laughs> i better be ready exactly so so those first sort of early months before I was looking ahead at that following year, thinking yeah. we've got all these weddings booked in, you know, kind of what am I going to do? Yeah. I can't do this. I cannot do this. But with my friends and my family. Be grateful it was all out of wedding season that her illness oh, and her goodness. passing was. Absolutely. <laughs> Imagine if it had been mid-June. You'd have been like, ah. <laughs> Yes, you can't do this to me. Yeah. So, so she knew. Had, yes, she knew, didn't she? I yeah. had a few months to, to sort of, you know, gather my thoughts and you know, yeah. my friends and family said, You can do this. This is what you have been, you know, this is what you've been trained to do. For. Yeah. So um so that was yeah, that was coming up for twelve years ago now. And wow. um so yes, I've carried carried it on, taken the reins oh, and um it's it's still very much a family run business. Yeah. Um I've got, a, as I said, an amazing team that work yeah. with me. Um, I've got three other fabulous chefs that work Great. with me. So yeah. on the day of the wedding, the bride and groom always get me. I very yeah. much believe in that. You know, I don't want to send some, you know, random chef yeah. for, for their wedding. I, I want them to know that what they've tasted at their at their tasting is the standard yeah. they're going to receive. I think that's so day. important because it's so true that, you know, you can go to a tasting and it's all amazing and they're only making one dish of, um, you know, it. so it's very different to mass catering. Yeah. And then, you know, on the day they look at the meal and they go, hang on a minute, this, this isn't what we experienced when we were having that lovely evening with exactly. gorgeous wines and everything. Exactly. exactly. So, um, so yes, yeah, so it was always me and one of my um, assistant chefs. So it's the two of us. Brilliant. And then my team of waiting um, and bar staff on the Fantastic. floor. Um, some that have worked with us for sort of 
you know, 20, 30 years now. Oh, brilliant. Um, you know, they've got their regular jobs in the week and then they come on board yeah. at the weekend. So it's it's lovely. It's yeah. nice for them because they have a total change of scenery at the weekend, yeah. doing something really different. Yeah. Um, and... That's a really good point. Like, to anyone out there that's thinking, you know, um, about maybe some additional income and things, it is a really fun thing to do yeah. is working on a wedding and you know it is seasonal work in general mm -hmm. and it's only going to be evenings and weekends you know it's not a big commitment in if you're you know waiter waitering or waitressing and it's yeah. a really nice you know you're around nice people and it's a very positive atmosphere so you're exactly. great it's exactly. a really lovely additional thing to do mm, or students as well yes yes very much so so um so yeah so it's um Obviously, with what we've been going through at the moment, um, yeah. you know, I haven't, I haven't really seen any of them. So no. <laughs> uh, we, we, we go from living in each other's pockets to, um, to, to when are we going to see each other again? Yeah, but, absolutely. Um, it's very sad, isn't it? Yeah, uh, these big teams that have all kind of been split up and you don't uh, have a date in mind of when it's all going to come back together, which is the most frustrating all. bit. It's really frustrating. I really still think weddings have very much been forgotten. Um, yeah. They realize what a massive industry it is I know. Um, and you know you know all the poor couples you know some of yeah. mine have you know they're postponing for a third almost fourth yeah. time now um and you know they a so lot of them want the day they've planned they want yeah. you know all those guests that they've they've got on their list yeah. and, um so it is it's really really tough yeah but let's talk about um you know what is available so at the moment clearly full lockdown can't do weddings but mm. prior to now we had um you know a spate of there being 30 person weddings then we went to the 15 for a bit longer and um, yep. you're part of sweet 15 as well so if anybody wants to get involved you know with the sweet 15 wedding then you know leo Torres can absolutely do your catering um absolutely. or you know and then hopefully we'll go back to you know the smaller weddings pretty mm. soon you know let's hope maybe yep. march we can get back on track to some of those weddings yes. um but who knows but you know clearly we're gonna it'll level up slowly as more people are vaccinated and testing becomes superior and there's more mm -hmm. regulation around how we can make bigger events happen yeah but these smaller weddings are here for the time being they're not going anywhere we mm -hmm. know that you know everyone's got to just you know go right if i want a big wedding probably not going to be the in the next six months let's say so yeah what you know with that in mind tell us a little bit about some of these smaller weddings that you've been involved with um and how you've kind of adapted the catering to make that work yeah we've um we've actually did we did one lovely wedding for 15 back in october um it was always going to be a small wedding not quite yeah. as small as 15, yeah. <laughs> um but they were hoping to have this small wedding and then have a really big sort of reception you know kind of a year later yeah so it was Yes, it was kind of, gosh, we haven't done, you know, when you're sort of used to the, you know, maybe 100 or so. Yeah. You're going down to a 15. It was lovely, as yeah. we knew it would be. And it was, I suppose, like a lovely dinner party. Yeah. That's what um, I've been tagging it as. I've been saying, think of this as the best dinner party of your life. Exactly. Like, just go big. Like, do the yeah. things that you would do if you were having the best dinner party you possibly could. Exactly. And you have the most important people to you. You have the most beautiful flowers. You have the most wonderful wine and food. Mm -hmm. And, you know, don't hold back. You know, this is still right. your wedding, but exactly. you've got to think of it more like a dinner party than a yes. party. Than a party. And, yeah. Um, and even though you haven't got the, you know, it's not as much planning, so to speak, with yeah. the suppliers and things yeah. like that. Um, obviously, there's still the attention to detail. And, um, and obviously, it's normally just myself and, and two members of staff. So right. it's, it's yeah. very intimate, you know, on that side as well. Um, but it's, yes, they can have absolutely anything, you know, yeah. anything they want. And, um, and I think the food's so much more important because, mm -hmm. you know, it, although, you know, Personally, I'm a foodie, so food's always going to be really important, you know, and, you know, for me, when I chose my wedding venue, it was based on what the food was like, you know, it was so important, you know, because they had in-house catering, but 
what I think, um, you know, people aren't realizing is that, you know, with the 15 person weddings, you can't have a dance floor, you know, you can have a first dance, but you can't have a dance floor. So it's not about the band, unfortunately, you know, they're not yeah. the big event. It's yeah. not about, um, you know, huge firework displays or anything like that. It's mm. not about any of these things that, you know, historically may have been big features. The whole day is really centered around ceremony and a meal because you can't stand up you know it's just about sitting down and having a meal together yeah, yeah. so the importance of food is integral because that's yeah. really the that's only thing definitely. people can talk about no, exactly exactly <laughs> you know even when they get up they've got to pop their mask on and yeah. uh, you know things like that so yeah when, yeah i'd say it, it, it's suddenly become the whole sort of focus of the exactly. wedding after yeah. after they've got married yeah exactly um, and have you seen trends in what people are going for now with their food, given that, or, you know, what people are booking for the future? Is there kind of, um, you know, a real change at all in, you know, the trends of what wedding breakfasts are like at the moment? Yeah, I, I'd say the very formal wedding breakfast mm. is just not happening now. It's kind of done, but, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, I'd say, yeah, 90% of my couples that come and see me say, we want amazing food but we want that real informal atmosphere. Yeah. So um, it never comes as a great shock to me because <laughs> I just think it's such a wonderful way of, of doing food. Yeah. So still having, you know, delicious canopies, you know, after the ceremony yeah. or maybe a, a lovely long grazing table that yeah. people can and just, you know, pick what, what they want. Yeah. Um, some people like to then drop the starter. They like to yeah. have loads of canopies, drop yeah. the starter and go straight into the main course. Yeah. And we're finding that one of the most popular things is, is having, we've got lovely handmade wooden boards. Mm. We, you know, they might have, you know, might choose rib of beef or, yeah. or whatever it might be. And then, you know, we carve that, put that onto the boards, one of those for each table, and then bowls of really delicious, crispy yeah. sea salt potatoes and salads and then everybody you know it's a sharing atmosphere yeah it's great for tables that don't know each other because yeah. it's all oh, can you pass me this that and the other yeah. and um and people they're not you know they haven't got a plate of food put in front of no. them where they're thinking oh god i don't like that vegetable exactly or, it's kind of head down everyone's eating and nobody says a word yeah so great sharing atmosphere much more interactive yeah, yeah. definitely and people can you know go you know go back for more and um it's yeah. just it's lovely and people seem to really love that yeah um, and we i love that. that's what we had and you know i think most couples you know in general are going down that route and yeah. you know it's it's with good reason you know we're a much more informal society nowadays as well yeah. you know the the pompous and the fuss isn't as you know what it used to be and so i think there's so you know last night i was speaking um to nat the celebrant and we were saying you know the formalities and the mm -hmm. you know this is tradition so you must do it really have passed and now it's all about well let's make our own traditions let's do our own agenda and that's also Definitely. come into the food hasn't it you yes, know you're really yes. seeing that freedom to actually do what you want very much so and i have couples that sit in front of me and they go right well we can't choose that because you know great aunt so and so won't eat it and i say look you can't think like this exactly it's your wedding it's yeah. the food that you both love and I, you know you'd like to think that all your friends and family will just be so delighted to be invited exactly. um unless obviously somebody's got a you know a serious dietary requirement yeah. people are going to eat what they're exactly what they're given, so to they speak. will yeah so they've got to just really you know this is their this is their you know the first meal after they've got married and it's yeah. what they what they both love so um, yeah well if you were having a dinner party you wouldn't be going oh well i won't do this because of that person i won't do this because of that. yeah well right okay i've got this group right we've got one vegetarian i've got yes. oh, somebody that doesn't have nuts all right i'm gonna make that yeah and you do exactly. it that way rather than being like oh well let me really think about you know oh. our dot <laughs> otherwise you start to think actually yeah i'm not gonna do what's the thing. point <laughs> yeah. yeah it's too stressful <laughs> exactly um, it and is then, it's so important the couple recenter and really bring it back to them oh, and make sure definitely. it's about them yeah definitely. and then and then sort of you know going on to sort of you know puddings and things like that so um, i know you posted one of my, oh, my treats so um, tempting my goodness what i do for that right now <laughs> oh, I, oh God, i'm so missing just 
you know, all these aspects of, of, of the wedding breakfast. Yeah. But um, trios, I don't think, will ever go out of fashion. No. <laughs> people, people will still, still love them. I mean, some people like to choose, you know, two different, you know, puddings and, you know, we put them alternately around the table, yeah. which is good fun. So a bit of a sharing atmosphere. Or yeah. another thing that's becoming very popular is like a really huge lovely pavlova for each table yes. you know, oh that's a great lots, idea yeah just covered in lots of local berries and yeah. you know edible flowers and things and everybody has a plate and just kind of dive in yeah you know? carry on with the sharing it's, side of it enjoy yeah. yourself yes that's such a good idea i haven't seen that but i would love that and the imagery i bet is stunning <laughs> I'm already like seeing the pav labor and thinking how pretty it'll look. <laughs> oh gosh, well I drive my staff mad because I, you know, I like to photograph as much yeah. as I possibly can. Yeah. And, you know, and they're about to go with something. And I go, no, 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 I haven't photographed that yet. Yeah. And touching at me going, oh. <laughs> 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 it's like my husband when we go out for a meal he's like can i eat yeah i mean or is it just a photo <laughs> shoot? Oh, no, like, oh, sorry. yeah i know it's um so um yeah and then obviously evening okay. food yeah well. it's always and nice. you'll do evening food as well and is there quite a lot of flexibility around that or have you got kind of set ideas about what yeah. works doesn't work we, we we always send ideas out of what we've done in the past yeah um you know people it's so funny because if they've got evening guests yeah they say well, we've got to feed them but i always remind them that always the first people up for the evening food are the ones that have been there all day Drink. because <laughs> drinking exactly get onto that dance floor a few drinks in them they're, they're ready by sort of you know nine o'clock or whatever yeah. to, to have something else to eat so um you know whether it's a you know a lovely sort of kentish hop and ale sausage bap or oh, so they can just pick it up with a napkin and, and off they go yeah or um you know, fabulous cheese table or yeah um you know i probably send them a dozen or so ideas yeah but then some they come back and say any chance you can make this you know my husband yeah. loves that and i go absolutely we yeah. will make whatever you want there's no oh, i don't so believe good. in set ideas and set menus no i'm really <laughs> anti it as well because you know you want it to be about you an individual to what it is that you as a couple want mm -hmm. don't you so that's yeah, where a definitely. true caterer can then go well okay this is the problem let's solve it by doing this or you know let's make the yeah. magic happen yes yes you don't want to be handed you know menu a b and c and exactly. um and, and that's it you know if you want a yeah. bespoke menu you can have a bespoke menu so yeah. um exactly fabulous and um, so how does the process work i know you said about tasting so do they so you're one of the first suppliers they're going to book you know this is really important that you get your caterer booked pretty much as soon as you've got your venue wherever you're going to get married yeah then you need to get your caterer booked so how do they go about the process of kind of going from i guess initial email to you from there on how does it work yeah, it, I mean, it depends, obviously, whether they book through a venue where we're a recommended caterer or yeah. whether it's come um, through Google, you know, whether it's a, a marquee at home. Um, yeah. I send, I send the, the, the quote through to them. You know, yeah. I give a sort of, a, a, I give a fair amount of information. Yeah. Um, and obviously, sometimes you, you know, when people are emailing loads and loads of caterers, you know, sometimes yeah. that's it. And you don't hear another thing and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then other times you immediately get that reply saying, this is what Great. we're looking Let's for. Let's go for it. Yeah. Um, so I then say, well, can, can I invite you for a, you know, a no obligation meeting and a complimentary tasting? Oh, and that happens, that happens at, at my home. Oh. I'm very, you know, I, I like to lay the table and, you know, and sit oh. and while they eat. So they normally, you know, try, you know, they might try some canopies, a couple of starters, a couple of main courses and a couple of puddings. Yeah. Um, and we just sit and we chat sometimes, you know, for a, good couple of hours yeah it's lovely and um sometimes it's great and they they book me sort of there and, there there. and then yeah um, and then other times you know they want to go away and have a thing can obviously speak yeah. to maybe parents that are yeah you know like paying for some of it yeah um and then we we go from there so it's um brilliant yeah it's not it's quite a yes i try and uh, pain free process make, with a bit of fun yes, in there so with a bit of fun in it exactly good yes. and where let's talk about your location because you're based in kent is that right yeah absolutely whereabouts um, in kent are you where's home we're, we're in edenbridge um just outside seven oaks ah okay got it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seven oaks, westrum um yeah. so very close to the m25 yeah and 
So you're, you're you're kind of North Kent, so people can get to you we easily. Are. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we cover. We co I, I say that we cover sort of all of London and the southeast. Yeah, I mean, we've been Suffolk. Um, you know, we 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 do go. You know, further further north of the yeah, end. Yeah, if the job's right. Yeah. Exactly when, when required. Yeah. Um, and we've got some. We're you know we're very lucky to be you know with some fabulous venues close right. by um you're the recommended supplier at a few venues a is few that right venues, yes. yeah yeah within sort of um uh sort of 20 25 minutes away and then we've got a yeah. couple that are, you know more, more like an hour or so away yeah so so that's um that's all brilliant um, that's so good yeah. And so um, with the pandemic, how have you found that your couples have been adapting and changing and, you know, also you as a business, you know, what's been going on for you? Can't ignore well, what's going on, can we? <laughs> oh, I know. And I don't think we thought that we would still be where we are sort okay. of this month, really. Um, yeah. as, as I said, I, yeah, some couples are, uh, yeah, are in their third sort of postponing now yeah um some have sort of said i can't be doing with the stress let's just move it totally to next year right yeah um but some of them are are smallish kind of yeah. the, you know the sort of 50 yeah. 60 mark and that so, uh, might happen this is it this is it yeah. i mean everybody up until Mm, probably mid May ish, yeah. beginning to mid May, have kind of postponed now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just heartbreaking. I've had it so is. many beautiful brides on the phone, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I just say to them, "Look, we'll leave this as late as we possibly can." Yeah. Um, especially for us, it's you know, yeah. we're not. It's not like we have you know we start cooking or anything. Or no, exactly. You're so able I, to have a bit of flexibility in your absolutely. time frames. So yeah. I kind of say, you know, as long as you've made a decision four weeks prior to the yeah. to the date, um, you know, let's just keep let's just keep talking and let's yeah. just. You know, because we just don't know when this is going to. And it is so important that couples, you know, don't just put their head in the sand and start, exactly. you know, and just Not. stop talking to suppliers. It's so important that you keep talking to your suppliers and letting them know what you think. Because suppliers often won't want to reach out to the couples as well, because you don't know where in the emotional journey of what's going mm -hmm. on your couple will be. And you'll want them to reach out to you and say, you know what, we've been talking about it and this is where we're at. And Absolutely. then you can respond really well to that rather than getting them at a point where they're like, ah, don't talk to me. I can't Okay, you know. Oh, I know. And, and so many people have said, oh, God, I'm so glad I contacted you. I was so worried. And yeah. I said, there's nothing to worry about. This is this. You do not. You know, I want to try and, you know, bring your worries down. Exactly. And, you know, this day, day will happen. Yeah, um, that's it. It will know. happen. Like, exactly. don't, you know, don't let this be the end of your world. This will happen. No, it's it just the happen. when we don't know. <laughs> this is it. This is it. But uh, I'd say the majority are wanting as i said the number that, that yeah. they originally, originally wanted, wanted. Yeah. so either moved it you know much later this year or have just said let's just do it yeah. next year yeah when we'd like to think we'll be safe and uh life oh i really hope so I really hope in a year we're not having this conversation again. Oh my God, I know. Wouldn't that it's be so devastating? Good. Let's not talk about negative things. Move that no, on. No, <laughs> not no, not possible. No. Um, so let's just quickly talk about, you know, your company has some incredible heritage, you know, and I think, um, you know, the care and the dedication and the love that you have for your business is just, you know, it comes across and it's so lovely to hear. Um, but what would you kind of summarize your company ethos as, you know, what is it that's going to make a couple decide to go with you over another? another caterer potentially um i'd like to think i think as i mentioned earlier they work with me from start to finish yeah so from that moment very that personal I that email i mean yeah. i'm i think my husband goes mad because i i have my phone attached to me yeah unless i'm sleeping because when i was planning my wedding yeah this was worse than being kept hanging on you know, I, I, I just, I, you want That's to get true. a reply. Yeah. Even if it's, kind of, you know, I'm, I'm on a job or I'm yeah. not at home, I will reply to you within the next few hours. Yeah. But when, when you, you know, sometimes go days and days without hearing yeah. from someone, it used to drive me mad. Yeah. So, you know, just that initial, you know, I've received your, yeah. you know, 
your email. Thank you so much. I'll come back to you later this evening or whatever. And yeah. then working with them from start to finish, as I said, yeah. including cooking for them on the day. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, yes, I couldn't bear the thought of not being on the day of somebody's wedding yeah. with them. So, um, yeah, very much family family business and customer um, service seems to be at the heart of it customer service yeah, with some good food yeah definitely and the food yes just just delicious tasting food and you know we we try and use as much local and organic good. produce as we can yeah. and in got, kent you've got so much choice oh, haven't you we're so lucky we're so lucky yeah, um, yeah fantastic it, it and great. so um during the pandemic what have you been have you been doing um meal deliveries have you been um yeah, doing I things have. like that yeah a few things like that you know doorstep deliveries yeah um, I've also done a few uh tasting deliveries as well yeah. no. so okay. most people are wanting to to wait until they have a face-to-face -face with me yeah so we've been doing a lot of zoom zoom <laughs> meetings and yeah then date down the line for, for the tasting so yeah, yeah some people um you know i've wanted some deliveries of food and that's been lovely yeah. um but um yeah i'm just sort of chomping at the bit to, to ready to go yeah definitely yeah. yeah sort of it's just all about homeschooling at the moment oh, which, um, oh are you living I'm that really hell at... oh i know so um, how's your maths so, yeah. doing <laughs> yeah, bad, really bad. I and keep I seeing like... all these things my friends are posting with their kids' homework. The kids are only about seven, and I'm like, I don't have a clue. Oh, no, my son's six, and yeah, oh, there you go. It's probably the same thing. <laughs> oh, definitely. Um, no, I, I am not a good, and I, 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 my patience is not good either. <laughs> I thought it was, it's not. You want to get back to frustrated chefs in a hot kitchen rather than... <laughs> yes, so you start, start shouting. Little kids. And, uh, that. <laughs> but um, yeah, a bit of normality would be good all round. Oh, brilliant. Well, look, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been an thank absolute you. pleasure. And my goodness, I can't wait until this is all over and I can come and taste some of your food and we can Definitely. do a wedding and... We can make all these fabulous things happen again because they are so long overdue. It's a date. Good. <laughs> well, Thank good luck with this again. afternoon's homeschooling. I hope Thank it's you so much. a success. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.